I don't know. What do you want me to say? I want, you got to do your best Scott Oak impression. I, what do you mean? I thought you were going to feed me questions. You want me to rub your head or something? Like Scott Oak? <laughs> <laughs> What's a Scott Oak impression? Scott, Thank you, Ryan. I love you. All right, boys. Well, here we have Derek Anglin, Ego, Marchie, and uh, the real deal, hanging out, just talking uh, Golden Knights. All right, boys, day one, what are we thinking? How was the uh, opening night? What's the atmosphere like? Never had that many different emotions running through one specific time. You know, you're sad, you're excited for the game, but and then you have that uh, emotional ceremony. To all the brave first responders that have worked timelessly and courageously throughout this whole tragedy, we thank you. We are Vegas strong. Really got me going too when I go scored. You scored game one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Hadn't scored in two years, but wow. <laughs> was saving it up for Vegas. <laughs> Contractor, you know. Life's sick dangling, looking up top, they score! It's the hometown hero. How did it feel getting left off that protected list and then picked up? Because I know I was protected, so. <laughs> My team really wanted protected. me. Yeah, I was protected. Play St. Him. Louis really wanted me. Then they dealt me a month later. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's hard for sure. Uh, you know, going to Stanley Cup Finals, being a couple games away from winning a Stanley Cup, and then came full circle. So it's all good. This is game one of the National Hockey League Stanley Cup Final. Las Vegas, are you ready? When did you guys? No, you had a shot at taking around the cup. There's one day we were in first place in the whole league, so I don't know what when that exactly was, but it was right around Christmas, great, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and that yeah, was kind of like, yeah. oh, after the All Star break too. Like we were, we just kept winning, and I think at that time, between the guys, were like, we actually have a shot, so we need to let George know that we're ready right now. I gotta say, when we came and played you guys with Pittsburgh, you guys buzzed all over us and we, we left the rink like these guys are the real deal. It was crazy, not just here, the whole team. <laughs> you were in love with the city and you weren't even here yet. I was, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I was jealous. I saw you guys buzzing around all year. I was like, get me over there. Hockey gods answered the prayer. <laughs> A lot of non-superstars on this team, maybe besides yourself. That's why you got the real deal. But um, other than that, who who's the biggest shock on this team? It's easy to say, I think, Carly. William Carlson looking for his second short-handed goal in his many nights, and shot, score! You know, last year, I did six goals playing third, fourth line, and, you know, he gets an opportunity here and puts 43, and, you know, Riley Smith really fuels that line, I think, you know? Oh. <laughs> I think that whole line, but, I mean, Carly, of course, but Marchi, too, I didn't know how competitive the little guy was. Yeah. Uh, I gotta say, from watching player. that LA series, you running around, I was shocked. Yeah. He, he, I mean, you never really move anybody, but you still, you throw the body around true. pretty Try well. Try to. Try yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> the right way is the only way. Johnny Marsh. No one expected what it's become. A rampage to the Stanley Cup Final, which goes down in history, win or lose, is one of the most remarkable things in the history of professional sport. What's the most memorable playoff moment so far? The first round, playing a, I guess you could say the Big Bad Kings. Um, you get that label, and we were able to play that game. Yeah, I think it just gave us that, like, whoa, you know, we're not fooling around here. We can actually win, so it was good confidence for us. Bigger than that, Noose! Hit it, Ego! Yes! Yeah. Really enjoying the, you know, the beginning of the series when all these guys are making predictions. We're going to do the doormat. We're going to get stomped out by Winnipeg. LA is going to kill us. And then we go out and do the exact opposite. And now everybody wants to jump on the bandwagon. But you know, just the fashion we're doing in the playoffs, I think, has been unbelievable. It's just so easy for groups to, to say, oh, it's our first year. Like, oh, we went to the playoffs. We should be happy. Yeah. Our group is just never satisfied. And I think nobody's going to be satisfied until we actually win it all. We have a chance to you know, change Las Vegas, for us, we're inspiring, you know, a city and, you know, what we're doing here and what we're doing for this city is pretty, uh, pretty spectacular. I'd like to thank you boys for uh, sitting and having a little chat with Revo. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having Anytime. us. Anytime. Anytime.